Hello viewers, look at this amazing perpetual motion device. So basically, uh, this is called the gravitational energy, so perpetual motion from gravitational energy. As you can see on, on these uh, wheels from the bicycle, there are uh, weights, one, two, three, on each, on each of them. And uh, this complete set is mounted on, uh, on a shaft uh, on which there are bearings, this green, green, green area are bearings. And basically uh, the weights on the wheels are positioned so that uh, they make uh, the balance so they make unbalanced system yeah? so so this, this is the idea to so basically these two wheels are pushing and this uh, other two are let's say the position are non-equal of them and, and um, it's pretty interesting concept uh, designer of this is uh, mr lawyer Lawrence Tsoyung, he is uh, from Hong Kong, China, and he has many, many similar patents, including some magnetic motors. Motors, I'll put in description a link from the original device, so from this uh, perpetual wheel, to to see how it looks like and how it spins. This is a 3D model I created, and I'll put the 3D model in description so you can download it. But basically, it's a very interesting um, approach. Yeah? So, so he, he uses gravitation, gravitational force to spin the wheel. Basically, as you will see from his video, this stops eventually, but it spins a lot of time. Yeah? And that's, that's a good approach. Yeah? So I don't know if there are possibility to, to make some kind of innovation on, on this. Or, to spin indefinitely but basically if, even if it could spin indefinitely uh, the rule of perpe perpetual motion device is that if you would put any kind of load on this shaft now let's say if you in continuation to this shaft mount a magnetic uh, standard generator any any kind of load would stop the system so this is the problem of perpetual motion as i understand yeah so Maybe it's even possible to, to make a real perpetual motion and to, the problem is, is of extracting the energy from such a system so that it's a usable energy uh, which must be, this mechanical energy must be converted into electrical energy to be used and to be pronounced as free energy. Yeah? So that's it, I hope you enjoy uh, my 3D model, it looks nice and also the, the original device looks very nice and I think uh, Mr. Lo Lawrence de Soyung is on a good uh, track and he's a good inventor so you can try to google him and uh, for now this is basically it. Until next video and next perpetual motion or magnetic motor, please stay tuned, bye bye.